about maybe three or four wheels or rims, should I say, to just check the layup schedule. I'm going to show you some photos now of a burn test of this rim here. We do these at the factory <clears throat> all the time. Uh, and I've checked a lot of different layups of other wheels over the years by doing this method. Um, so you can see in the photos there, it's a burnt rim, whereas the carbon is formed at 3000 degrees. So it doesn't burn, but the resin burns out. That allows you to just pick apart each layer of the carbon and see the exact layup schedule of each wheel you want to look at. So that's the Scope Artec 6. A we're going to test. Have so cut a section off the end of the rim, which was this piece here, and just pulled apart all the layout. The key thing we're trying to find out was the layout, but the outer layer, whether it went over into the hook valley section of the rim. It doesn't. It stops at the top here and there's no overlap of fiber into the valley. Um, that, that, that is pretty normal with a lot of uh, rims, but this is obviously a different factory than they're at before because it used to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly which factory that is now, but it's definitely a different layup schedule um, than it was previously. Um, everything's pretty normal, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. That's sort of the key differentiator. And one of the reasons why there was that big company recently that had the side blowing off, not that it's happening to these, but you want that fiber to continuously go over the edge, which also helps impact resistance on that section. But um, yeah, there's one of them pulled apart for you.